Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a video, finally, on the ordinary skincare. You guys have been waiting for this video for so long. Um, the reason why I've been holding it off is because I need to try the products before, like for at least a month. And I need to, I didn't have enough products to do like an actual review. So I bought some more products and tried them out and this is why it took so long. Um, if you're new here, my name is Anushka. Welcome to the family. Make sure to hit that sub subscribe button subscribe button <laughs> and yeah be a part of the family we need to still find a name for our family don't know what the hell that noise was hmm. my makeup might may be a little different so please ignore it i did a video before this which will be up later on this week so yeah if you're just wondering you'll know why um in the next video so yeah i'm just gonna jump straight onto it and talk to you guys about the products and what i think and tell you guys about the goods and the bads because there are some that i didn't really like so we're gonna start off first with the serum that i've been using and it's the alpha arbutin 2% plus HA. It's a concentrated serum with 2% purified alpha arbutin and hyaluronic acid. First of all, before you guys try any ordinary products, I definitely recommend going onto the website, the actual ordinary website, because they give you so much information on each product that you know why you're buying it and you know what you're using it for. But not as much information is given on the actual boxes. So yeah, even if you go, I believe they have like a little store or like a pop-up shop in London in Central. I'll try and put information in the info box if I can find any. But before you go to the store, make sure you do your research on the website and see what you want to get and why you're using it. Because there's no point of getting a bunch of acids if you don't really need all of them. Acids really thin out your skin and they make your skin go very sensitive, especially to the sun. So you need to be careful with what you're using. So yeah, I definitely recommend going on the website because there's just so much information and you know why you're using it. Yeah, I'm on the website. So now... Alpha Arbutin costs £7, which I think is still affordable for a serum. I'm just going to mention the key points for each product. So this says it reduces the looks of spots and hyperpigmentation. So as soon as I read that first phrase, I got this. And this is my second bottle, guys. I love this stuff. So it does say to apply a few drops to the face AM and PM, which I do, and use protection in the a sun protection in the AM. So I use this day and night every day, and I always make sure that I have my SPF every day. I use the Body Shop Skin Defense, which is SPF 50. I'm quite happy with it, but to be honest, the ordinary is come is coming out with like sun care, but it keeps saying coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. <coughs> I could get away with SPF 30, but I'm quite happy with the Body Shop one because it doesn't leave any residue. But as soon as these ones come out, I'll definitely give them a go. Yeah, make sure you always use, especially if you're using any type of acid, um, or if the product says to use sun protection, definitely use it. Um, you need to wear it anyways, it's just a must. I, I tell everyone to use it because sun, sun protection is just so important. But yeah, I've been using this every day and this stuff is amazing. I recommend it to anyone, especially if you've got like uneven skin, um, hyperpigmentation. Um, it's really helped to reduce, I used to have two white circles around my mouth and that's like gone. Um, mostly like if you look at my old old videos you would literally be able to see it through my foundation and I used to hate it so much I still have it slightly on this side but it's mostly gone this one's definitely a 10 out of 10 I definitely feel like this has made a big difference to my skin I've been using this for months like over six months and it's really helped me okay so now onto moisturizers I have three in front of me right now I'm gonna talk about my most favorite one so this one is the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate 10% it's a brightening hydrator with stable vitamin C derivative so this one costs 780 it's a bit more in a higher range compared to like all the other ordinary products it's um, got oil in it and it has water in it and it has some some type of silicone so I really like to use this under my makeup sometimes it just creates your it just makes your skin feel so soft and I think that's because of the silicone in it um, by the way the ordinary is cruelty free which I'm all about like thumbs up to them for being cruelty free and vegan actually and it's alcohol free which I kind of like I don't really like work putting stuff with a lot of alcohol in it on my skin so this says it brightens the skin tone and reduces signs of aging it's got a um, pure form of vitamin C in it then it says to apply a small amount of this cream formula to face AM and PM after application of water-based serum so what I do is I put my water-based serum first and then I put this stuff on top if I am going to use it because I don't really use it every day because I mix up my moisturizers or sometimes I put 
my moisturizer and then I put this on top because it has that silicone stuff to it <laughs> but yeah I have been really liking this it's super hydrating you can definitely feel like it's more of like an oilier consistency consistency but it's not like greasy so if you have dry skin I definitely recommend this stuff to you it's gonna help brighten and again even your skin tone and um, if you've got any like dark areas it's gonna help even that as well um it's got that vitamin c in it so it's gonna just overall help with aging and like brightening so um I definitely recommend this one it's so good it's like one of my favorites so yeah I love this one and again I've been using this one the serum for like ages this one has been like maybe like one or two months now the next one is the natural moisturizing factors plus ah it's a surface hydration formula it costs six pound 80 so it's a bit cheaper um it's oil free but it has water in it so this is just going to keep the outer layer of the skin protected and well hydrated it's non-greasy hydration and it says apply after serums as needed for effective surface hydration so with this one, I like it, but it's really like, you don't feel like the moisturization is sinking into your skin. It's more like it's just sitting there. So if you have really like dry, flaky skin, like it's just gonna help soften that up and like really like hydrate your skin. It's not greasy at all. It really, it, it doesn't, it, it feels like it's sitting on the skin, but it's not, but it's just the way it is. It's a very unique consistency. Um, I don't know, it feels like there's oil in it, but there's not. It feels like those emollients that you get from the pharmacy. Um, it really feels like that, and it, it really does feel like it sits on the skin, but it still hydrates, you know? So yeah, I like to use this sometimes, mostly on top of some other moisturizers. I use various different moisturizers. I feel like that's the thing that I change a lot. Um, so like I've got Bobbi Brown, Glam Glow, Origins, and various others so like sometimes I'll just put this on the top I rarely do use it on its own to be honest but again it's a good one if you especially if you have dry skin I think it's really good I have this vitamin C suspension 23% plus AHA spheres 2% why is it so complicated this one costs 490 is a bit on the cheaper side um, it's oil free water free alcohol free silicone free and this says that it's a pure form of L ascorbic acid which is vitamin C, I guess. This treatment is ideally applied at bedtime and I'm gonna tell you why. And it says, apply a small amount to face in the AM or PM. A tingling sensation can be expected after application. And it says that it reverses multiple signs of skin aging while brightening the skin when applied topically. So again, it's the same as the other one, the magnesium ascorbyl that I really like. They both have the same purpose, but to be honest, this one I really don't like. And the reason why is because it literally feels like you're, you've mixed sand in a cream and you're putting that onto your face. Like it feels so uncomfortable. And then when it sits, it dries to this powder-like formula. It just, when I put my skincare, I want it to feel really good. Like I want it to make my skin feel good. I want it to feel good because you know, I feel like that's an important part to skincare. It's there to help your skin, but this one just feels so uncomfortable. It just, I feel like my face feels so dirty after using it. So I've used this once and I actually hated it so much. I just haven't used it since. So I don't know. I would say just go for the magnesium of Scorpio, which feels so much better on the skin and makes your skin feel really soft. Whilst this makes your skin feel like the Sahara Desert times five. Like it's so bad i just don't like it maybe it does work well but it just doesn't feel good really it really doesn't and i get why it says um apply at bedtime it's more ideal to like apply it when you go to bed because it just feels really nasty and you don't want to be going out the house with this on your face like honestly so yeah i don't like this one it's a pass for me okay now onto oil i absolutely love the 100 percent organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil you guys have seen me talk about this so many times in my videos it's just such a nice hydrating basic pure oil to put on your skin you can put it in your hair i'm just going to read out the benefits so this costs nine pounds so it's a bit more on the pricey side but so worth it it lasts for ages and this is again my second bottle. I've been using this for months and I feel like this has really been helping me to like just overall um, even out my skin. So it's 100% pure rosehip seed oil, which is amazing, cold pressed and organic. It's got linoleic, linoleic acid, provitamin A. So this oil helps to reduce any signs of photo aging and many other skin conditions. Apply once a day to the face, ideally at bedtime, which I do. Apply it every night at bedtime. 
um, after application of water-based treatments, so anything that's water-based like your serums or any water or gel-based moisturizers, put those first and then put, you always wanna put the oil-based stuff after, like at the end. So put your water-based stuff first and then use your oils or your oily moisturizers after. It feels so good on the skin. It's really helped to make my skin look, I feel like, I don't know if it's just the serum, but I've been using these two for months now and I just feel like it's been helping my skin just look overall nice. My main issue at the moment is skin texture which I have been trying to get rid of for quite a while now like it's just so bad I don't know if it's because I'm not drinking enough water or I'm going through a lot of so much stress so I feel like when I get stressed loads of spots come on my face um <clears throat> before this uni stuff guys I swear down these this oil I feel like has just helped to just overall improve my skin it actually helps with hair so if you want to wear it on your hair like I feel like when I use that rose of oil my hair grew so much more so yeah use it on your eyebrows I sometimes when I put it on my face I put a little bit on my I coat it on my lashes you're probably not supposed to do that but I still do it I do it on my brows and you can put it on your hair like sometimes I like to put it on my bald patch here which I really hate so yeah it's just a really good oil it's pure it's organic and I definitely recommend it and now on to the last one you guys know I absolutely love my um, AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution this is the famous peeling red vampire looking blood mask that everyone talks about and uses on Instagram especially um, so this stuff stings like hell like it just stings at first when i first started to use it it stung like hell and i thought it was not normal but it actually is supposed to you're supposed to keep it for 10 minutes max i always put the timer i make sure that i don't use it any longer because you just don't know like and you know before before i was actually using it once a week and then my skin starting to get so sensitive here so i cut it down to like i do it like once every two weeks or once every three weeks because it's so it does, I feel like, thin out the skin, but it helps so much with like texture. And when I use it, your skin instantly feels so soft. I just love it so much. Six pound thirty, which I feel like is not bad. It's currently currently out of stock, but you can get it on ASOS, like other website stock. The ordinary exfoliates the skin, topmost surface for a brighter and more even appearance. That's just enough words. Even, exfoliate, brighter. When, when they say brighter, it doesn't mean like lightening your skin, it just brightens those darker areas and just makes your skin overall look even. Um, improves the appearance of skin texture and reduces the look of fine lines with continued use. I just love this stuff, it really helps with my skin texture. Um, I've been using it, like this was so much worse a few weeks ago and now it's kind of gone down. Um, but it just overall helps with skin texture. It's just such a good product. If you have sensitive skin, like I would definitely not put this on my sister because I feel like that would burn her skin. So yeah, if you have sensitive skin, probably stay away from it. Try once a week first and see how you get along. But it was just way too strong for my skin, so I cut down the frequency. So yeah, I, I love this stuff. I'm still on my first bottle, but honestly, you don't need that much when you use it. So it definitely lasts ages. Um, And I think that's it, guys. Those are my opinions on the ordinary to be honest the ordinary skincare is mostly what i use especially in terms of like serums and acids and stuff like that yeah these are the the ordinary products is like every day i do use ordinary products or some type of ordinary product um <clears throat> sometimes with moisturizers i switch it up because i've got other ones that i really like but i make sure that the serum the oil and the peeling solution i reuse very very frequently um when i say frequently like i like make sure that I'm consistent with my use to make sure I see results and I feel like since I've been using them my skin has improved so much compared to before especially the darkness around my mouth area I feel like I don't even I don't even need to really use color corrector most of the time anymore it depends on the foundation but even today I don't even have any color corrector I've just put foundation um the Pigmentation on the sides of my face have reduced a bit as well. My face overall looks very even. So, yeah. I really hope this video was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. I make sure to reply to everyone. Um, I definitely recommend The Ordinary. They're really good. They've got such good products. Just make sure you do your research and you read the description that they give you on the website. Even if you go to the store and you want to like swatch them or try them out first, then just read on it first so you don't like 
waste your trip you know and you know what you're looking for definitely don't use more acids than you need because you're in the long run it's just going to damage your skin rather than do it good because i feel like it's just going to thin out your skin and your skin's going to be so sensitive um to the sun so yes i'm out of breath guys <laughs> i feel like i'm talking too much um but yeah thank you so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful it really helps me out and i will see you guys in my next video bye love you Mm-hmm.